Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live. The Ric Flair of Crypto coming to you live from Asia, guys. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Don't forget to smash the likes and show some love. Howdy, 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 and God bless everybody out there. We're going to be talking about a huge freaking pump that's going to be happening for Bitcoin. And also, we're going to talk about uh, Dogecoin. Big pump coming for Dogecoin as well. Analysts are saying, analysts are expecting. We're seeing the MACD is crossing for the uh, Dogecoin. And uh, that could mean a liftoff time, guys. We're seeing the Dogecoin right now is fighting, fighting the 10 cent resistance. We're just above 10 cents right now. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it, it's a hard target to get past, but we definitely need to uh, get past 10 cents and to get to 10 and a half cents and stay there above for 24 hours to confirm 10 cents being the support. So I can't right now tell you that 10 cents is a support level for Doge. We're fighting it out. Time will tell. Time, TD, TD, time, time will tell. And remember, it's a great time to be alive, guys. Absolutely a great time to be alive. And remember, none of this is financial advice. Do your own risk management. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody out there. Only listen to your inner self. Ooh. And remember, guys, feel the power. You know, take take a second, take a deep breath, and love the community. Love what's going on for Dogecoin. I love what's going on for everything because things are looking pretty good out there. Uh, go back and watch all my videos. Do become a member, guys. Get access to a free WhatsApp group. And if you have become a member, send me a DM on Twitter. Tell me your YouTube handle and tell me your membership level, and then we'll send you the link uh, to the free WhatsApp group, guys. So that's what's that's what's all about. So yesterday we did see that the broader markets are looking looking better. Up about a half a percent across the board. Dow Jones is uh, at plus three percent. Looks like uh, Musk's Scandinavian woes deepen as Tesla loses Swedish court case. What is going on out there? Still looks like they're getting a blockade for Tesla out there. Uh, who cares? Uh, Musk is big enough to handle it. We're seeing uh, some positive news. U.S. payrolls rose almost to 200,000 in November. Unemployment rate also fell as well. So we're seeing that uh, we're seeing signals that the economy is getting more robust. Uh, we're also seeing that uh, they're probably not going to be a, a rate hike uh, in the next uh, session. That's pretty good. So 2024 is shaping up to be a much more positive from a macro and micro perspective, microeconomic, macroeconomic perspective. So that should help uh, pump the cryptos. And remember, as the economy gets better, the euphoria gets better, the sentiment gets better, and it just creates this positive investor environment, which is not only going to aid the broader environment, but also going to aid uh, you know, Bitcoin. So let's jump into the Bitcoin and uh, the other prices of crypto right now. We're seeing that crypto crypto overall is looking good. Ethereum is down a little bit, a little bit of profit taking out there. Also, BTC is at 44,163. Now, it did drop down to almost $42,000 with a huge a huge hunter wick or a scam wick depending on how you want to um, how you want to call it and uh, with that a lot of longs did get wrecked we did see some of the market makers taking a huge huge amount of liquidity from the longs as well uh, but it quickly reversed up but guys uh, if you were able to buy at the bottom of this hunter wick you were in like fling guys so this is hunter wick yesterday uh, we did see a low of 40,000 my bad went down 40,000 Forty thousand dollars on this Hunter Wick and quickly rebounded. And uh, what this was, this is a, basically a Hunter Wick or Scam Wick, and its market makers basically flash crashing uh, Bitcoin down, d d d d down, down to take as much liquidity out of the market as possible, guys. Uh, so we did see a lot, a ton of liquidity uh, go out of the markets, and we did see a lot of wreckage happen. Uh, in 24 hours. So that is what's going on there. Remember, never leverage trade. If you leverage trade, then you're just being a mutt out there. Don't do it. Do not do it. It is dangerous. Also, guys, interesting, as you guys know, that uh, it looks like uh, in January we could get the uh, the uh, spot uh, Bitcoin ETF, and that is going to pump a Dogecoin. That is going to pump uh, Bitcoin like crazy. And remember, Van Eck predicts that we could see Bitcoin inflows over two billion in 2024. If we see this freaking thing approved, guys, so that is positive. And remember, remember what is going to be next, guys. If we get spot ETF approval, then we're going to see an Ethereum, uh, Ethereum spot ETF, and then. I'm speculating who could be the next spot ETF. Could it be XRP? Could it be Solana? 
Uh, some people are saying XRP. I have a feeling it's going to be Solana because Solana is going crazy right now. Uh, we could see, actually, we could see that Solana could flip XRP in terms of market cap pretty darn too soon. Uh, Solana is at $73.20. That is pretty good. We did see that uh, Jitro uh, has been uh, listed on Binance coinbase and other exchanges it's still not too late to uh a pin connect your wallet and get 6.96 percent apy out there guys so if we take a look at the lama lama ding dong we are seeing now that uh, solana has a past optimism and uh, solana is now worth 870.86 million and you can see that you know solana's solana's chain is just growing and growing and growing uh we got jitro out there is up right up right now looking pretty good so overall, you know, it's up like 15%, 40% in one month. So looking pretty good. A lot of good stuff. Also looks like Camino, Camino out there is about to have an airdrop as well. So that is that is looking good. Total value locked is, uh, for that is about 92.46. Also, some people have been talking about bonk, guys. Bonk, bonk, bonk on the head, uh, which is a Solana native um, meme coin out there. So guys, uh, Looks like it's up like crazy right now. Uh, Dogecoin is also up right now. So Dogecoin is fighting the good fight. Let me give this a minty refresh out there. Sorry, so Dogecoin is up right now, 5.74%. Uh, We're seeing that Solana Wanna Wanna is up as well. Uh, Everything is looking very fantastic overall for crypto markets out there. Uh, let's take a quick, let's take a look, a quick look at Bonk out there. Now I'm not telling you to buy Bonk. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just saying that this is, this is part of the Solana ecosystem. And it is pumping right now. And uh, some people are wondering, like, well, where can you get it? Where can you, where can you get it? Uh, it looks like it is available on KuCoin, uh, Radium, uh, Gate.io, Bybit, and HTX uh, out there. So that's where you can get it uh, out there. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, find it. I might pick up I might pick up some a little bit of bonk. It could be the next Shiba you know it's really cheap guys. I might pick up like a couple hundred bucks. Just take a just take a pun. Remember that's gonna be highly risky out there. So watch out for that. Remember that is a pure uh speculative play out there for bonk. But it could go somewhere or it could not uh, out there. Uh fear and greed is looking pretty good at 73 out there. Uh don't forget, don't forget if you look at the assets ranked uh by market cap. Let me give this a minute refresh. Don't forget to hit Dogecoin 111. We're seeing that uh, still looks like Mark Zuckerberg getting kicked in the nuts again. We got CPI data coming out. Uh, CPI data, where are you? CPI data should be on the 13th, if I'm not mistaken. Core CPI coming out on the 13th, so take a look at that. Get ready for that. That should also help pump the markets as well. Looks like Fidelity uh, Spot ETF uh, inches closer and closer, and it just got listed on the DCC list out there. So that is pretty good. It's being listed on the DCC list. It's right there, Fidelity, Fidelity Origin uh, Bitcoin shares. So that is pretty good. We're getting closer, and I believe that we're going to get a ton of Bitcoin ETFs that are going to be coming out at the same time. So, guys, this will pump the markets like crazy. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Also, Bitcoin spot ETFs. Once they're approved, we can see forty billion dollar inflow, inflow uh, over the first two years. And uh, also, also looks like we're seeing that, uh, you know. There's an estimate by Van Eck. They're saying that we could see 1 billion inflows in the first few days. I think it's going to be more. That's just my freaking opinion. We're seeing right now that uh, December is looking fantastic out there. Up 16.81%, guys. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, if this continues, wow. I think $50,000 incoming for Bitcoin is, is likely, guys. So let's take a quick look at the, the chart again. We did have this scam week, Hunter week, that uh, basically eliminated a lot of long positions out there. Uh, still looking good. We got this, uh, we got the bull flag uh, that's being formed right now for uh, Bitcoin. Uh, we still got some resistance right here at uh, about 45. I think we're going to crack out, lock it, pass that pretty soon. So I'm pretty pumped out there. We're seeing that uh, Ethereum is also looking good on target as we get closer as we get closer to the new 2400 we'll probably see you know we'll probably see a little bit of rejection you know we tried to get above there twice got rejected uh but we will break past the 2400 dollars this is just a matter of time chitty chitty time time uh we did see that the payrolls have gone up uh versus 180k so that's positive that's positive news out there 
So things are looking pretty good uh, from that perspective. Uh, we're also seeing the new Binance Bitcoin balance drops by 4% in November exchange regulatory issues with US uh, authorities. But not only because of that, we're seeing a lot more Bitcoin being taken off exchanges and being held in self custody. And you know, speaking about that, if you have your crypto on a centralized exchange, get it to free doctor, free doctor. No, get it off there right now, guys, and get a hard uh, hardware wallet. Uh, I, I I can't I can't tell you how important it is to secure your own crypto. If you don't own the keys, you do not own the crypto out there, guys. So get ready for that and uh, go down there. Check out the link. Check out the link. Don't forget to smash the like. Show some lovey love love for the OG. I appreciate it, guys. Much love to the community out there. I love you guys. Uh, it's crazy times. It's good times. We're seeing that new institutional trade saw almost twofold two times in their Bitcoin holdings. And we're seeing a lot of institutions now are aping into crypto, aping in to uh, Bitcoin. And so we're seeing institutional inflows are doubling. Uh, retail traders going down a little bit, but we're seeing uh, institutions. And institutions are definitely gonna be driving away. We're seeing that Bitcoin may be targeting 50 to 53K based on that net network activity. So we're seeing a huge increase in network activities. We're seeing a huge increase in the number of new Bitcoin wallets. And not only Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Solana, XRP, we're seeing a lot of people aping in. We're seeing Joe Nancy, Joe Public, aping in like crazy. Guys, wow, wow. Guys, don't sleep, don't sleep. Uh, Bitcoin hit 44.6 as predicted. Why do you fade me? Bears liquidated again, guys. So a lot of liquidations, like I said, uh, Long's got liquidated. Bears are getting liquidated. Do not leverage trade. It is bad to use bears. So Bitcoin bull run begins. If you take a look at 2015, 2017, fractal, huge pump, guys, huge freaking pump. We had to have a bull run pump, guys. And right now, I believe we're heading into a super cycle and we're going to see a pumpalicious, pumpalicious January. We got so much things happening uh, out there uh, for, it's great. Uh, so if you take a look at Dogecoin, this is from JD, my man, JD757. Go follow this brother. Uh, he's got some good, good stuff, guys. Uh, I love this guy. Uh, so Dogecoin, if we if we confirm MACD cross on the monthly, we are going to go to the freaking moon, guys. Uh, it looks like, you know, the, the rocket, I can smell the jet full, is fueling, fueling up for Dogecoin and a chart. Uh, it, it's looking pretty good, guys. Uh, do not leverage trade. If you take a look at deep dive into the chart, uh, this is by JD out there, JD757. Uh, you can see that, you know, right now we're at this point of breakout and we could have a huge lift off. We had 62X, 370X. Uh, you know, even if we get 200X, I'm happy. I'm happy. One dollar could be coming in sooner than anybody anticipated. For the do as you wish, your guys out there. It's a great time. Also, too, we're seeing that the open interest for Dogecoin has climbed to a six month high. 100% rally coming in. And every time you have a lot of open interest rising, you often get a huge pump following, guys. So, guys, wow, 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 woo, woo. You should be excited. You should be pumped, guys. I'm, I'm excited. Dogecoin is back above 10 cents. We need this area to hold, like I said, before we can go to 11 cents. And right now, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of iffy. It's kind of tumultuous. It's kind of, you know, choppy, choppy de chop chop. Uh, but we have this huge green dildo right here on the weekly. So we're up like 19% on the weekly, guys. So that's looking good. But if we drill down on the daily right now, we are getting we're getting smacked in the face, smacked in the face uh, by this uh, this area here. This is a 10 a 3 7. That is the next big resistance. We definitely need to get past that. I'm still feeling wow, wow, wow. We still got this, this huge slingshot pattern. Uh, you know, it's forming. It's happening, uh, but we got rejected again at the 1037. We need we need a little bit of a catalyst. I mean, we did have this beautiful wick here for Dogecoin that we did get past, but we quickly got rejected, right? <sighs> rejection, rejection, heartbreak city. Uh, so we definitely need to get past that <laughs> ASA freaking P. Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, fundamental tokenomics, whatever you got, the, the nomics, the nomics of uh, Dogecoin right now, uh, we've seen the market cap is uh, up. That's pretty good, almost 6%, 14.48 billion. That's with a B, ain't starting for effect. B, 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 B. And we're seeing the volumes are down. Uh, not to worry, not to not to be too worried. Uh, who's in the money? Who's out of the money? For the doge, huge freaking pump happening, will happen. And if the spot ETFs happen, it's going to be insane in the membrane, guys. But don't forget to smash Dogecoin 1-1. You'll love it. I love it. 
Let's get it, guys. Absolutely get it. So we're seeing 75% of all the all the holders are in the money right now. Can you believe that? In the freaking money. 21% out. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Woo, woo. Looking pretty good out there. So, yeah, guys. Things are looking pretty good for the Doge. Uh, that's about all I got here right now, guys. Go follow me on my Twitter. Where let's hope we can get this to 10,000. 10,000 followers guys don't miss the tricks don't miss a beat out there you want it you want it you want it uh so i'll see you all in the freaking next one be blessed be peaceful smash the freaking likes smash the likes like crazy that's all i got peace out